Well, good morning. You find me in a quiet corner of the Norfolk Broads, and the reason I'm here this morning is not only to try and catch a few pike, but I've got the Western Explore underwater camera. So we're going to use this little camera to try and learn a little bit about how the pike react to the lures, which lures they want today, and it's mega exciting getting that take on camera and watching those pike wallop the lure. So there's a few other applications I use this for, but for now we're going to explore the broad, try and find a few pike, and capture that moment on these underwater cameras. Well, conditions look really good this morning, so I'm quite keen to get cast in and see if we can find some pike. But before I cast it out, it's really simple to turn the camera on. There's a cap on the top there, which isn't quite shut yet. If I twist it until it locks, you go from a flashing red LED, and eventually it'll start flashing green. That means it's recording. And one of my favorite features on the Explore Cam is the fact how small it is. It's only 28 grams, meaning it's much nicer to cast and I can use slightly smaller lures and it doesn't impair your presentation. So I'm going to drift across the board, search in this area and hopefully we'll catch a pike. Well, that didn't take too long. I've definitely had a couple of hits before I've hooked up on a fish. So they've been tapping at the lure. It's only a little fella, this one. But it'd be quite interesting to play the footage back and see what ones have been nipping at the lure and see how they're reacting to the lure. We might be able to make some adjustments, different size lures, different color lures, to try and get some of those little taps into full blown takes like this one. But get this little fella in the net and then we can play some of the footage back. Well, it's only a little tiny fella, but I've been getting constant little taps where they're nipping at the lure. But the beauty of the camera is you can play the footage back straight away. So I'm going to slip this back and we'll get the card reader, attach it to my phone. And let's see if any of them other inquiries were bigger pike than this one. Well, you can watch the footage back instantly and it couldn't be any easier. Inside the little pack, you've got some card readers. There's two different types, depending on what mobile phone you've got. So you just pop the memory card out of the camera. There is a little tool to help get the cap off because you want to make sure that cap is on nice and tight when you're fishing with it. So use your tool to remove the cap, pop out the memory card, put it into the card reader. That plugs in the bottom of your mobile phone. And then just go into your files and in there, you can find the footage and you can watch it back straight away. Now, what is interesting this morning where I've had a few nips and follows, I think that's mainly because they're quite small pike. And I've even had one come up and have a swipe at the camera as well. But there's quite a few pike out there. That fish I've just caught, we played the footage back. And as he chases after the lure and he comes up to take the lure, he's got two of his mates behind him. You can actually see three pike in the shot at one point. So there's numbers of pike out. We haven't seen any bigger fish yet. That's probably explaining why I'm getting the odd abort to take, but it certainly is great fun. And it's even more fun watching it all live on your camera and just seeing how they react to the lures. So I'm gonna get the camera back, connect it up. We're gonna go back to the top of the broad, drift down again. Let's see if we can catch some more. Well, I've made my way back up the top of the broad. I'm gonna drift through that middle area where we had a few takes, but I'm gonna change my lure to this perch pattern. Lure, something a little bit more subtle. The water's really clear here today, and I'm getting a lot of pike follow the lure, but I'm getting more follows than I am hit. So maybe this little slightly darker perch pattern will convert more follows into takes slightly quicker. So let's get the camera back on, cast back out, and try and find some more pike. One thing worth mentioning with the Explore Cam, in the pack you'll see two little veins. One's got 
three wings on it. It's really important that you put that on because that stabilizes the camera. If you don't have that on, the camera will rotate as you reel it in and your footage will look terrible. And then there's another little diving lip. If you want to keep the camera a bit lower in the water, keep it parallel with the lure. When I first used it today and I didn't have that on, the lure was just out of shot. It was just sinking below the camera. I've put that diving vane on and the camera's a bit lower in the water and we can see the footage a lot clearer. Well, that's quite interesting. I've changed to that perch pattern lure and I haven't had any taps. And the first tap I have had has been a real wallop and we've got a pike. So that might be coincidence or the change of color in lure. They might just be a little bit more confident on something not quite so bright today. Stay on. Well, they might be small pikes so far today, but they are absolutely perfect. And it's just a bit of a learning curve. It's really interesting to see how they react to those lures using the camera. And it's really exciting getting the takes on camera as well. But I'm gonna slip this little fella back, carry on fishing, and I'm gonna talk you through the hardware that I'm using to cast the camera out, because the last thing you wanna do is lose this camera. Little fella, off you go. They fly off, don't they? Well, let's talk a little bit about the setup and the hardware that I'm using to cast the camera, because let's face it, the last thing you want to do is lose one of these cameras. But all my pike setups are pretty much indestructible. That's exactly what they need to be. So I've got 40 pound braid on here today. Then that goes down, obviously there's a wire trace below the camera, which I've got the lure attached to. And because those cameras are only 28 grams, you haven't got to use a really heavy lure rod. As long as you've got something that can cope with up to 28 grams, you can cast these cameras fine. And it's not just getting the hits on camera, which is great fun. I found another really great use for them. When I'm fishing on the reservoirs and I'm using my main fish finder to find the bait fish, which is the key to finding the predators like the perch pike and the zander. When you're over a load of bait fish, you can lower down the little camera and see exactly what those bait fish are. And if they're little roach, I'll find a lure that matches those. If they're little baby perch, which they quite often are, I'll use more of a perch pattern lure. So it's not just for capturing the takes, it's for interrogating the swim, seeing how the fish are behaving and seeing what they're feeding on. <laughs> wow, Eli, you're doing great. Well, what a brilliant morning's lure fishing. And it's always a real learning curve when you've got the Explore Cam with you. You can make little adjustments from what you're seeing, whether it's just follows or what hits you're getting. It's always really exciting seeing those hits on camera. So let's pop this little fella back. But don't forget, check out those Explore cameras. Either pop on our website, go on the AD app, or even better still, go in your local angling direct.